The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. We're going to take a look at Microsoft for H&P, our friends out of the uh, Far East. Ask a question about the Microsoft AB equals CD pattern. I've drawn two of those in. You'll see the one on the left that started in late August. That's a nice ABCD pattern, and it fits nicely. It goes to 294. Market rallies $11, $12 up to 306. And the question they had was this a ABCD pattern on the second one? Yes, it is. It's a perfect one. But there's also some very interesting things that you can remember when you're looking at this. Whenever you're looking at an ABCD pattern like this, and you have the D point down there at 285, and you have a gap. If you will take that distance, which happens to be between 291 and 293, if you'll add that to the bottom target, in other words, because of that gap, it's pushing it down, and that'll give you a lower target down there that'll give you closer to that 283 level. I know it's trading uh, basically uh, uh, unchanged today at 284 and 11, but whenever you see a gap, that's a big unknown, so you can use that as part of the ABCD pattern. That's from the, you know, using those, uh, looking at all those patterns over the past uh, uh, 50 years, you know, those are the things that the, the computer has picked up. In fact, Larry Williams was the one that first brought it to my attention, you know, many, many years ago. So whenever you see a gap in an ABCD pattern, if you'll add that, you know, to the D point, take whatever that gap is, two or three points, whatever it is, add it to the D point, and that will give you a, a, a more accurate um, more accurate picture. The reason why, folks, is a gap is an unknown. That's that's the primary reason. Okay, now we got a couple of other questions that we need to answer. Uh, was about the crude oil, folks. L last night, you know, I do for the 24/7, folks. I I bring out, uh, I watch things uh, on a shorter term time frames that are happening. And you notice here that we had this 382 retracement in the crude oil. We missed the high up there. We got stopped out uh, with a very small loss trying to pick the high, and it went down. Then we were able to short it. Then it makes a beautiful ABC down at the 1.27. Folks, at that one point, that had a $1,500 profit in it. And one of our subscribers came back and said, I ended up, uh, you know, I said, well, there's nothing wrong with breaking even on that. But then I got another email from someone saying he took a took a 30 pip loss on it. Folks, if you're trading something and you, you've got these machines in front of you and you can see everything that's going on about how many nickel diamond, all the 10 cents or whatever you're making per second is all clicking there on the left hand side, stuff we never had years ago. But that's a distraction. It really is. But if you've got a fifteen hundred dollar something in, in a profit in something and your original risk was three hundred dollars. You, you got to do one thing, and you got to start applying some common sense, because no longer is that fifteen hundred dollars part of your risk. That's the money that you've made. That's your actual money. So you've got to say, okay, I don't want to give all of that back. What do you give? Five hundred bucks, six hundred back, seven hundred back, whatever you have to do. But you don't want to get it because you've increased your risks from thirty pips on a crude oil trade to fifty to one hundred fifty pips. Does does that make any sense? You know, you got to put some skin in the game and say, "Yeah, I got to take responsibility for that." So you've got to be able to do it. Now, as you can see here, the the crude oil went all the way up to the 61% retracement up there, where the ABCD came in at 75.85. And then I also get an email from someone saying, "I think I this I'll go to the weekly chart and see what it's going to give me." Hello. Even though you bought it down there at that three drive to a bottom pattern down there, you bought it on a 15-minute chart, traded off the 15-minute chart. You know, don't don't jump back. Hey, this is my two cents worth. You can do anything you want, but uh, it's common sense tells you if you're looking at a chart on a 15 minute, focus on a 15 minute. That's what you really want to do. If you're looking at a weekly chart, 
focus on the weekly chart, but don't go jumping back and forth between those things. You know, many years ago, we didn't have these charts. You literally had to do everything by hand. You couldn't get all this stuff intraday and stuff like that going back about 35 years, but uh, we had to do anything with ticker tapes or the Bunko Ramo machines and Reuters and stuff like that. So that wasn't a problem. But now with all these you know, tools that you have going into short-term micro trading, whatever it happens to be, you've got to be able to do that. But two two factors here to remember is that if you get a nice profit in something, and a nice profit is if you're risking $300 and you've made $300, okay, it's okay to get back to break even, but you don't want that thing to go to a loss because now instead of risking $300, you're risking $600. I hope I make that point clear because, you know, like Grandma said, you got to kiss a lot of frogs in that pond before you find the princess, boys and girls. Let's see if we've got a caller. Uh, uh, Steve is on the phone about GDX. He would like to talk to me. Steve, you've got the mic, my friend. What can I do for you? <laughs> How are you, Larry? I am good, my friend. What's up? Well, um, I've been cycling into uh, an area that people have probably been terrified of cycling into the last two or three days, which is um, the, the gold, a number of gold mining stocks. And it Absolutely. looks to me today like we might be damn close to a major low. A, a lot of these stocks have corrected 62% from their uh, highs from August of last year. So that's yep. a normal we FIB ratio, you know. Yes, we are. And uh, if you look at this, on a, I'm going to look at it on a long-term weekly for you because this is one of the things I'm going to be covering here in the uh, – let me draw this in for you so you'll be able to see it, Steve. Uh, we'll draw it in. you see within about, uh, about one point from the exact 61% uh, retracement here on the Gold Miners Index at that uh, 28 level. Right now it's at 2805. But if you'll stay tuned after we're done talking, I'm going to be covering uh, gold quite a bit because it's uh, it's really getting close. Uh, I'm, I, and, the, and the reason why is because of what's happening with the euro and the U.S. dollar because that, that helps control it. So Yeah, uh, I've been watching one, the U.S. dollar, yeah. Larry. And, yeah. uh, you know, the 38% retracement of that moved down from yeah. around 103 to the 88-something area. <laughs> That's at 94.75, and I thought, is it going to get up there? And should I wait, you know, to throw my well, life? You don't have to. You don't have to wait much longer because it's at 94.30 now, or a little higher than that, actually. <laughs> but you know, Steve, if you're going to start throwing these numbers around, you're going to have to do the show for me because this is you've just taken well, all my thunder. <laughs> you know, I, I actually. Um, I started out with friends and family because I caught a bunch of the bottoms in in the miners back in. Uh, early 2016, mid-2018, 2019, and I, the day of the low on March 16th, I, I put one of my friends in who had stayed in cash since 2002, and he trusted me and put 400 grand in on that day, and I got him in CDE at two bucks. Wow. Yeah, two wow. pennies off the low. Wow, that's great. <laughs> he was shaking. And I said, Rick, yeah. Rick, just trust me. So now he's yeah. got $1.4 million, and he's been, you uh, know, he's waiting for me to call him today. He said, I had him mm -hmm. getting a couple stocks yesterday. And I said, mm -hmm. Rick, it's really close. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's just hope it's not like hand grenades. You know what I mean? They don't have to be very close either sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> if, it, if, you get, if, you get much below, if you get much below 28, you're probably wrong. So be careful, Steve, okay? Well, there is a strong area of support in that 26, 27 Absolutely. area. It, indeed it is. Hey, thanks yeah. for calling in, my friend. Appreciate okay, it. Okay, we'll I look right forward back. to your uh, coverage of it. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. 
Ride the wave. Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE, and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, we're back, and uh, we're talking about the gold market. I posted a 15-minute chart of the gold here over the last few days. Those of you that belong to 24-7 know that we bought the gold uh, yesterday at the 20, at 14. Shut the front door and raise the rent. 1728. Uh, you'll notice we made the ABCD up here, uh, $17 higher up here at the 1745. Then we went down and made a new low. Now, folks, when you've got a $1,700 profit in gold, and you don't at least save some of that, you know, you got to rethink what you're doing here because it's a 15-minute chart. You wouldn't do something like this on a weekly or daily chart. So just remember when you see something like that. The problem, what happened was it was at 7 o'clock in the morning New York time, which is 4 o'clock in the morning uh, Arizona time, and I sleep between 3 and 5. So by the time uh, I got up, you know, the market had uh, – you know, broken quite a bit. We did we did okay, but you know, I'm not complaining. The reason why I'm bringing this chart up is because of the wild volatility that we're seeing. Twenty dollars up, twenty dollars down, in two days is uh, you know not an unusual thing to have happen. But I do believe that it's related to what's happening here. Yes, I've looked at silver, and I'll do that right now. Uh, silver has been the the, the wicked set the. St wicked stepsister here in this group here so if you give me one second i will be able to uh take care of this uh where is it silver silver there we go silver silver everywhere okay there we go yep silver has gotten in fact is this is where oh dear hold on one second we've got a slight problem here in river city oh dear all right give me a second oh man alive Sorry, folks, I'm trying to get this stuff up here. You'll see here that we had this big breakdown to say in silver, and we're getting down now. You'll see the 382 support. That, oh, this machine. Uh, I'm afraid I'm going to have to say goodnight to it. All right, here is the uh, silver chart. Get it up here so you'll see it. This is the weekly, then I'll do the daily. Uh, we broke that 382 retracement uh, yesterday at 2280. We dropped a dollar, more than a dollar an ounce today. We got all the way down to uh, uh, 21. 
uh, 40, 2135. We're trading at 2148 right now. The ABCD on this stretch is all the way down here to 2050. Now, that may or may not happen. If we look at this on the daily chart, we have been extremely bearish on solar for quite a while. If you listen to the uh, 24 a seven newsletter or read it you'll notice here that's one of the things that we focused on the fact that if you like these 382 re patterns and we certainly do you'll notice what's happened here in silver on the daily ever since june every rally major rally has been a 382 the last one we had was just the other day quite simple you rally for three days you stop exactly at the 382 and bang down you go now if that is a good 382, and you can tell by the fact that it's dropped $2 a barrel, gee whiz. Oh, man, $2. <laughs> Let me draw this pattern in so you'll be able to see it at $2 uh, per ounce. You're going to be able to see we got a really nice place here to uh, nibble at the long side on silver when we get to this level of uh, 20. Uh, you'll see it on the line here at uh, 2040, 2039. Is what we're looking. That's a you know, another buck. Well, we should drop a dollar a day. That's just another down day, and that would also be a larger pattern of the bigger. Well, this is where we're going in silver. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Get this up here. You'll see. Oh, this is really an easy one, boys and girls. Get ready because this is where it's going to happen. Uh, there's the 2040 again. You'll see us right there. You got double ABCDs there. So I want to thank. Uh, uh, Steve from uh, Michigan to tell us about this uh, pattern here that we're seeing in gold and silver. But let me uh, spend just a, a moment, give you my two cents worth about what's happening with these things. If you remember, you know, we we talked about that 382 pattern because it's so powerful. And I, I'll show it to you in just in, in just in shorter term in a NASDAQ here in just a second here. But if you look at this, this is the euro, this regular spot. FXCM. You'll notice that the, the high that we made back in September was a 382 retracement. We took out the high of August by about two pips, and then that was it. We got very bearish at that point. Now, look what happened today, folks. I, this is really important because this is something we've been watching. You'll notice that double bottom that we had there at 116.70. At, at 116.70, of course, we dropped another 60 pips from that level, but there was a really strong reason for that. On yesterday's show, we talked about the dollar index and how important it was. And if you'll remember, we were saying that look out here because we had made all the targets, but if it gets any stronger at all, and if it gets any stronger at all, and you can see any stronger at all is right there looking you right in the face, and away it went. We're, I think we've been above 94.35 uh, already today, but, but now just hold your horses. Shut the front door and raise the rent. We want to show you something that you're not going to believe. Well, maybe I better not show it to you because it might be just too much for you. Let's take a look here at the long-term weekly in the U.S. dollar index, okay? We've been waiting for this puppy for a long, long time. And there's that 382 on the weekly coming due up here, just a tiny bit higher than where we are right now. The reason why this is important, folks, we've got a whole lot of cycles that Mr. Shane Smolian and Tim Boss have told us about uh, that are happening now. And that some of them will affect the U.S. dollar. Some of them will affect the gold. Some of them will affect something else. So this is not the place where you want to be getting too, too bearish on the euro and bullish the U.S. dollar. Now, let's go to a daily chart. Let's go to a weekly chart on the euro. We did the thing on the daily, so for the uh, weekly on the dollar index, so we need to do it on the euro because it is uh, a good 53% of the dollar index. And if you put the euro weekly up here, we're there right now. You see, just right at this 116 uh, level. We're we're uh, now we could get down to the 50% level at one. Uh, 115.45, but we are, we're completing a major weekly pattern in here. Folks, the number of times I look at weekly patterns is only at major spots because other than that, you know, 15 minutes is a weekly chart for me because that's how I, I watch to see what the markets are doing at that time. So this is important. Uh, the next day or two, we're going to find out because if we start cascading down below that 116 level and that dollar index gets above, say, 95, then, uh-oh, if it gets above that 382, then, uh, you know, something's wrong. And uh, these currencies, it's a question of which dirty shirt you want to pick. 
So that's the main thing. Now let's get back to that uh, NASDAQ because that's one that, uh, I mean, I, I preach this stuff, but sometimes doesn't get through. But let's take a look here. Yesterday, over just the last few days, now remember, the NASDAQ has broken uh, $20,000 here, folks, in the last uh, few weeks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> last few days <laughs> i give up <laughs> okay let's go back to monday you see we had a beautiful 382 retracement there just spot on okay then the market breaks down it makes another 382 retracement on tuesday and what does it do today it makes another 382 off of the high that we made back here i mean you can't make this up folks you think these algorithmic players aren't using this stuff absolutely i mean a computer if if you run these numbers, it's going to pick them up, and that's what they do. They're number crunches. We'll be right back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Okay, folks, I posted the 15-minute chart on the S&P so you can see what's happened over the last few days. We've made new lows here in the NASDAQ. We have not done it in the S&P. I think the S&P is going to hold for several different reasons. We need a two- or three-day rally here. I expect a rally today, tomorrow, and then Friday. They're going to uh, they're going to send a letter out to everyone saying, be careful, and you'll hopefully get the letter in time because uh, I sense it, I feel it, and I smell it, and I know it's coming and uh, usually, uh, when I have feelings like this, uh, they're not too far off. There's one market that you will have to pay very close attention to. We mentioned it yesterday. I want to bring it to you right now. This is the, hold on just a second, boys and girls. This is the 30-year Treasury bond. You'll notice that we made a lower low today by one tick, hitting the exact 61% retracement there at 118, 158.17, we rallied about a little more than a handle or so. Folks, should we get below there, and we will soon, uh, that's going to be very, very negative. Uh, just in, not, over, not only the fact that the, the price of the government's business is going to go up because they have to pay more interest when they put these bonds out, it's going to mean a pretty nasty thing to the stock market, I too. The problem we have in the stock market is there's just too many new people in here, and uh, they need to uh, be taken to school. And uh, we'll see, like Bernard Baruch says, uh, the greatest scam in all of investing is to inflate something to a high price, and people will buy it all the way down. And all the way down can be quite, quite dramatic. Let's take a quick look here at the S&P here, where we are. Just to give you, I'll make a little prediction here. Before Thanksgiving, we'll be trading at 30,000, 3,000 in the S&P for what it's worth. Hold on one second. Move this over, and you'll be able to see there's where we were yesterday. We were down exactly one standard deviation at 43.35. We rallied since that time. We rallied up to 43.75. I've already shown you that was a 382 off of the bigger move. 618 off the smaller move, and now we're back down here. Should we get below 4375, folks? The ABCD on this pattern measures to 4200. Now, if you don't think, well, let's just move on. That my predictions don't mean anything, cause heck, yeah, I know. Well, you know, <laughs> you're right, Maria. It's <laughs> it's uh, just uh, it's all I'm doing, folks. Is I'm just looking at stuff like this. I mean, we've we've had some. You know, this market hasn't had a big correction for a while, and that's pretty much it. You know, look, just look at the chart here. You can see. Look at the COVID thing. You know, they they. The end of the world was coming, right? Well, the end of the world didn't come, did it? Market rallied from 2,100 to 4,600. So if you think it can't go from 4,600 down to where it is, it went It went from 3,400 to 2,200. It dropped 1,200 points, okay, in five weeks. What could it do in 10 weeks? You know, I'm not, hey, maybe if it goes below this red line, who knows where it's going to go? If it does go down, I don't know. All I know is this is the type of pattern that it happens with. And it's the time frame. And the fact that I'm not going to be here on Thursday and Friday, it's most probably going to have a, uh, you know, it's going to have a, uh, okay, we've got uh, Mr. X on the line. Mr. X, what can I do for you? Mr. X? Oh, you're Mr. Z. I'm, <laughs> Al, Al was playing games. Hi, Z. How you doing? <laughs> I'm very good. Uh, uh, good day to you, Larry. Um, uh I thought I would uh, call in and ask you just a couple of questions. Uh, start with the uh, E-mini S&P daily chart. I uh, might ask if you could put that back up. I sure. uh, just wanted to uh, uh, pursue a couple of things in real time, if we could, please. I'm ready. Fire away, my friend. As you're doing uh, your analysis, in this event where the price is coming down, we can look at the daily chart on the uh, E-mini S&Ps and we can see, gosh, there was there was a July low uh, that was relevant, oh. there was a June low, there was a uh, May low below that. Uh, yeah, when, you're yeah. doing, when you're doing your FIB uh, support levels, do you have any rules of thumb governing which uh, preceding low you base your support calculations off of, please? Sure, John. I take the I take the lowest low and the highest high, 
uh, like on this head and shoulders pattern in the S and P, we had that up there at that uh, that Sunday morning, uh, Sunday night, and early Monday morning last week. Uh, well, it was actually this week. It was uh, we were at 44.70, and then look at look what happened. We went all the way down to 43, dropped 150 handles in two days, and all we've been able to do now between yesterday and today is to rally you know 40 handles that's not a very strong rally in my opinion because it just you know barely made you know a 382 retracement so that's why uh, if it gets below that we're going to be looking at you know 41 uh, for just the abcd on that will measure down to uh, i marked it there at uh, 4185 that's down another uh, 150 handles that means we would be down over 400 handles in a matter of uh, you know eight trading days. So if we can do 400 400 handles in eight trading days, it's accelerating to the downside. Remember, markets go down faster than they go up, because fear is a greater emotion than greed, and that's where the problem lies. We've got we've got a lot of people with and I'm not nothing against Robin Hood or Red or any of those guys. It's just that you know they haven't been around to to see these things happen. I, I learned the hard way. You learned the hard way. What? They're not going to learn the hard way? Give me a break. <laughs> yes. Yes. No. Uh, uh, actually, uh, people generally don't learn unless it's the hard way. So, uh, yeah. yeah, exactly. Um, uh, so uh, we have learned the hard way, and if you haven't, yeah, your time is coming. It's, it's only a matter of when. This is true. A, uh, a second follow-up question. I want, wanted to know if you could pull up a, uh, a recent or live chart of the NASDAQ 100 uh, futures contract, maybe a 30-minute hourly chart for whatever the case may be. Yeah. And I wanted to ask you specifically, just once again, use uh, to ask you to explain, rather, the, the thoughts that go through your mind on uh, looking at the chart work and deci uh, deciding or coming up with an answer to this question. Let's say you're short the, uh, the NASDAQ uh, futures, mm -hmm. and it's now just declined just under uh, mm -hmm. Tuesday's lows, which is, of course, under last week's lows. Is there anything that you can share with us that you personally be looking at to say, okay, fine, I'm short, we've come this far, this is where I cover and book a gain. Yeah. I'd just be curious yeah. to hear the thought process you go through, okay. not sure. asking for a forecast or exact okay. uh, uh, answers, just the process, please. Yeah, that's, that's, that's very good because, I, like I said, when I was on the show here, I said we're making new lows now in the NASDAQ from yesterday, but I said I don't think – that uh, that is going to be a uh, – uh, uh, that's not going to be a, a collapse or anything because the, the big markets, the Dow and the others, are not doing it. But if you – I'm going to pull this chart. I'm going to blow it up really big so everybody can see it really closely, and you'll be able to see this. Uh, those of you that have ever seen an ABCD pattern, you'll see that this is just what we completed here at new lows was right at an ABCD so and still we start consolidating to the downside I think we're going to bounce from here and the move to, to the downside will start either Thursday or Friday that's what I'm ex expecting thanks for sharing that process I appreciate it you bet thanks Steve we'll talk to you later we'll be right back folks Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today.
technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I posted the gold chart. Uh, and basically what I was looking at here was uh, you, you can see here the ABCD pattern and the 786 comes in at 1707. We're trading uh, 20 bucks higher, 1727. So $20 lower uh, tomorrow would be something maybe, well, that won't be today. Well, it could be today. Are you kidding me? Anyway, it could easily do that. But what, what you want to be doing now is you want to be watching that U.S. dollar because if it gets above 95 and change, that means it's breaking above that 382 retracement on that long-term chart, and you got to be very, very careful. We're trading at 116 even now uh, in that euro versus the U.S. dollar. So uh, remember, we're very, very close, but, you know, close in hand grenades, <laughs> you have to be very, very close. <laughs> you have to be, uh, you've got to be uh, uh, pretty accurate. So we want to be waiting here to 1707 here uh, in the gold. Uh, that would get silver down another buck, uh, roughly a dollar to that uh, 2040 level. Uh, 2040, you have to take a look at the silver, I believe, folks, because it's going to be at a 50% retracement and a couple of big ABCDs. So the main thing is, is that that 382 is such a powerful pattern. I mean, I I teach this to my students, and it takes them a while to grasp it, and I, I harp on it, and I talk about it all the time, but most people don't even, and it's so simple. My goodness, you can get a strong trending market, sell that 382 retracement, put your stop above the 618, and you're going to be right more than and you're wrong and you're going to make a lot more than you lose so uh, just remind ourselves uh, that's something that we got to be uh, paying uh, close attention to here as we watch these things but 1707 is what I'd be watching but again watching that uh, pattern uh, in the uh, dollar index and also the euro that this is what you're supposed to do as a speculator is to look at these numbers to see where you are. You're not going to get the timing perfectly, but if you add it together, you can get a place where you don't have to risk very much. And that's the main thing. If you remember when that NASDAQ was up there at 15,700 and whatever it was, let's just get that up there. It was screaming. I mean, literally screaming at us to sell it. That's just, I, I remember that because uh, we had it on the thing here and people said, you've got to be crazy to sell that up there. But it turned out crazy was the thing you wanted to be. So let's move it up here. There it is. You'll get to be able to see it right here. One second as we get it. There we were. We were looking at a beautiful uh, three drive to a top pattern, 15,700. Folks, look at it real closely. You see the little top of that gray triangle there. 
one, two, three, four, five days, folks. Five days it stayed at 15,700, with the final high being 15,735, I believe. And now look where we are now. Now you can see we've broken down below these lows. You can see the ABCD on this is, uh, you know, getting pretty close to, uh, you know, heading lower. Now I don't know if it's going to be today or tomorrow, but we're getting ready for something really nasty. And it'll, I believe it's going to happen either Thursday or Friday. Now that, that's just a guess. I'm thinking, you know, the market comes down, has a little three-day pop to the upside, you know. But if we, if we, if we make new lows now in the S&P today, Below that one standard deviation and the 786 at 4335, folks, we're going to drop another 150 points, and we might do it very, very fast. What we haven't had happen, and people talk about it on some of these things, is a black swan event. I, I don't know the difference between a black swan and a white swan except for the color, but I think it's something that just happens you know, out of the blue. And we've got so many things out there that could be black swans, you can't even count them, starting with the debt, the debt ceiling, starting with the budget. Uh, starting with, uh, what, COVID-19 uh, and 26 or 38 variants, whatever it happens to be, uh, the China thing with uh, Evergrande, the China thing with its, with its uh, uh, shadow banking and, and mystery banks and stuff like that. There's so many things that could make this thing do it. And not only that, but the market is set up way up here in the air, and nobody is scared. Folks, you should be scared here. I'm honest to God, you should be scared here. I mean, honest to God, I, I've sent the... Ah, get off my soapbox, Larry. Let's get back to the program. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, brother. Oh, maybe, maybe Tommy will fire me, put me out of my misery. Okay, let's move up here and take a quick look here. Uh, uh, we talked about the Treasury bonds. Look where the Treasury notes are, folks. You talk about a, this is a bigger market than the bonds, by the way, by quite a bit, 25% bigger. We've already broken down through all support here. The only thing that's held now is the March bottom. Now, the, the Treasury bonds are trading at the 61% of that March bottom. But if they don't hold, if we get them below 158, then that's it. You'll be able to see... Uh, <laughs> Maria says she's scared of me sometimes. I doubt that, Maria. You're a lot smarter than I am. So let's move on here. I just right now I'm going through a period where my energy level has been way down. I've just been pushing the thing to the uh, to the wall, and that's not been good. Let's move back to uh, this uh, pattern here. I wanted to uh, mention to you today. Uh, well, just a second here. Oh, uh, shucks. See, we haven't broken the 786 today in the S&P, which is good, even though the NASDAQ went down. Take a quick look here at the natural gas. We had that big move. And uh, believe me, folks, we're trading, you know, six or seven thousand dollars under that just in two days. We've been able to break it. Uh, quite a bit. So that's the high in natural gas for a while. That may mean that the people over in the UK will start to get their bills paid and they'll be uh, they'll be all right. The main thing I'd really suggest that you do is you pay attention really closely to the US dollar and the euro in this area. That will also mean that the gold is very important because if the euro starts to strengthen, that means that the dollar index is weakening and gold will move up when the dollar index is weakening. If the dollar index is going up, Gold's not going to go up because people use that as a dead asset and it's not going to gain anything. And so they'll move their money into treasury bonds or whatever. So the story goes. That's why I'm a technician. I don't believe any of them. So all I have to do is look at the prices and see what the heck they're doing. So that's the main thing. If you don't take anything away from the show today, do this. And that is if you get a big profit in something from the 24-7 group, don't let it go to a loss, folks. I get these out as fast as I can, but sometimes I just can't get them fast enough. So that's just a common sense thing because if you're risking $300 on something and you made $1,200, now your risk is $1,500. You know that that's not smart. I mean that that's you know, it's the opposite of what. Keep your risk small, and uh, let your you know let your profits be bigger. We've had a great run here, these uh, this year, and in fact, especially these last few months, we're still short the stock indices. I'm waiting to put another short on, and I'm waiting for this three-day rally in the S and P. And when we get the third one on, if we do, I'll be I'll be gone on Thursday, but and Friday. But uh, when we uh, you don't want to know where I'm going in those days. Got to help a help a friend to the other side of the of the world. Anyway, but the, you you watch for a three eight two reality, folks. If it gets to, if it by Thursday or Friday, if we make forty 
4410, 4420 in the E-mini S&P, okay? And then it starts to go down. Then get ready. And if it closes badly on Friday, oh, dear. Get ready for Monday because that's a three-day rally in a bear market, and they are not going to take any prisoners. There's going to be some type of an announcement come out that I think would be uh, relatively negative. That's what I'm uh, thinking might happen. But then there's my opinion. and <laughs> Opinions are like armpits. Everybody has one, and it usually smells. So let's remind ourselves. I don't know if this is a crash or not. I don't care. I just think it's going to be a big correction. You know, just like, remember, the crash of 87 was a great buying opportunity. We'll be right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. You want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage. The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Hi, folks. This is Steve Rhodes. Stay tuned for another great hour of the Trader's Edge, heard here at TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks. A couple things, as I understand that the YouTube uh, didn't have any charts. I, that I have no control over. You have to ask uh, TFNN on that. The second thing is, is if someone's asked me, uh, why do I think the dollar is going to be doing that? Folks, I have no clue. I'm the last person in the world you ever want to ask for that stuff. I mean, because uh, that, that, that would be just my opinion, and that doesn't count for very much. There's just too many variables there. I'm a, I'm a real – I try to be just a pure technician. Unfortunately, i got to think a little bit, which is dangerous, but it doesn't make any difference. Just watch the prices, and that's the key that you have in your favor because if it gets to those prices, that's where you want to be able to uh, – 
you know, hang your hat on something. Now, I posted a chart here of the natural gas for today. You notice we had a 382 rally here, took about an hour, went exactly to the 382, and immediately broke $2,000. And, folks, this is like trading pork bellies because it's got lots of volatility, great feel, fills, uh, easy margins. I mean, it's just a wonderful thing to trade. So keep your eye on that natural gas because it's a... It's a very, very good one to trade. Now, tomorrow I will be gone on Thursday. I will be gone on Friday, and I'll be back on Monday. We're going to have some guests next week, of course. We've got some big stuff coming up uh, in early October, and uh, we'll see how some of these things uh, unfold. I appreciate all the support you give us here at TFNN. I will tell you this. We're going to have an incredible October and, uh, and November. So if you're thinking of uh, belonging to the 24-7 group, now's the time to do it because we're seeing a lot of things that happen, you know, in these markets, sometimes in the middle of the night. And I have uh, beepers telling me to pay attention to these things. And we've been able to catch some of them. And I hope we'll be able to continue to do that. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless and keep those home fires burning, boys and girls. We'll see you on Monday, October the sixth aha very good okay i think that's it boys and girls i guess i ran out the clock the wrong way but that's a, that's the way it goes oh boy